Welcome to Simply Good, Cooking with Rebecca. Today I'm making an apple cranberry flanyard, which sounds really fancy, but it's really simple to make. It's a simple dessert that's similar to a Dutch pancake. It could also be served at a brunch or as a breakfast food. First thing I'm going to do is I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees, so while I'm preparing my oven's preheating, and I'm going to be buttering and flouring a tart pan. I'm using a ceramic 10 inch tart pan. You can use um, a pie plate if you don't have a tart dish or I've even made it into smaller cake pans. So you just want to butter and flour those first. So once you've floured that, you just dump any excess flour back. Try and not make a giant mess, but... And then you set this aside for now. Next thing, I'm going to take a half cup of, these are dried cranberries, any dried fruit will work. Cherries are a favorite, um, dried blueberries or raisins work also. We're just going to plump these up a little bit, put them just in a container and pour boiling water over them. And just about cover them with about an inch of boiling water. And then you're just going to let that sit for about 10 minutes. Now we're going to prepare our apples. Okay, once your apples have been peeled and sliced into about quarter inch slices, you're going to arrange them in your dish. And you want to arrange them so that they look nice in some kind of a pattern because it will show in the finished dish. So, I mean, you can just toss them in there, it'll be fine, but if you arrange them, it will, you know, it'll show up. So once your apples are layered in your dish, you can just set that aside. Your apple, it's only one. Um, you can also use pears in this dish, it's also great. Um, the rest of the batter is mixed in a blender, which makes it really easy. Um, you want to make sure your liquids go in your blender first. If you put just your flour and your dry ingredients in there, it can clump on the bottom more and not get mixed thoroughly. So we're going to be using three quarters of a cup of whole milk and three quarters of a cup of cream for this. Once your cream and your milk are in, we're going to put two eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla. After you have your eggs and your vanilla, you're going to put one quarter cup of flour, one quarter cup of sugar, and a pinch of salt. Okay, once your dry ingredients are in, you're just going to Put your lid on and blend this until it's smooth about one minute. Once your batter is blended and is nice and smooth, you're just going to pour that in on top of your apples. Okay. And your apples may move around a little bit, that's fine. They tend to float to the top while they're baking and then you can still see the design. Next, my cranberries have plumped up nicely in the hot water. I'm just going to sprinkle these over the top. I just pull them out with a slotted spoon. Alright, so your fun yard is now complete. It just goes in the oven for 25 minutes at 400 degrees, and then it'll come out and it'll need to rest for at least 15 minutes before you serve it. yard has come out of the oven and cooled for about 15 minutes it's ready to serve for dessert you can serve it with some powdered sugar or ice cream or you can chill it and serve it cold for breakfast or brunch either way it's simply good